All right, all right, all right. We're back. We're we're unfortunately just gonna have to do more unlimited Mars, cause uh, well, a it's very early on a Tuesday morning, and there's probably nobody playing in the first place. But secondly, it's because aside from that little that short little quality test, those five videos that I did with the quality Please test, which I had did like what character. six rounds maybe against you know the AI. Uh, anyway. So yeah, I am not at all, Bye. moderately, even slightly prepared to go up against other people right now, because I have not played since, like, last Saturday. Well, the Saturday before last Saturday. Uh, and the reason for that was, as you saw in my match against, um, that other dude, Nah Rage, Knee Rage, something or other, um, I was a little angry. I was getting a little angry about stuff, a little unnecessarily angry about stuff that continued I played the next day and I was just I was underperforming I was not doing much uh, that I usually do and so I decided you know what man a lot of the times when this kind of stuff happens it's time for a break just chill out do some other stuff come back a little bit later refreshed and whatnot and everything will be good to go so that's what I did but let's talk about blaze blue for a second for those of you that may not know, I have no idea how you wouldn't know, but there was there is a patch, there is a balance patch coming out for this game about two weeks. Uh, uh, it's reported after the American release of this game. I don't know if it's getting released elsewhere or if it's just America. Anyway, um, two weeks after, there's going to be a balance patch. It's not like a humongous one. It's kind of fairly minor rebalancing there are some characters that got hit kind of hard but the most but the majority of them like there really isn't any character that got buffed really substantially buffed there really aren't any that got substantially nerfed it was mostly just you know like five six little changes here and there per character and i'll finish this thought after i shouldn't have started up the match man it's my own fault good start we have started off well but rather than combo. But it instant block, it didn't work. It was not starting off how we want it to start off. This is not. This is probably just preparing me for. Obviously, today is the day. How did that win? Obviously, today is the day that Dark Souls comes out. You will be seeing videos of that. That's what. I, that's basically why I'm playing this right now. Because I'm just waiting for what. I'm just waiting for the time when I can go pick that up, but I am also delaying it a little bit because I did not realize Titanfall came out today as well. Oh Jesus! I was not expecting that. I did not know that Titanfall came out today as well. That was actually pretty fucking dirty. See, the problem is with that, I can't actually. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not quite. Um, the problem with... What was I gonna even say? I don't even know. Basically, I don't want to have to jostle and compete with all the... Well, actually, technically, since it is a Tuesday, I shouldn't have to jostle and compete with all the... Little kitties with their mommies and daddies. Trying to get that newest... Please first person shooter and whatnot, but yeah, that's why I didn't go to the like I didn't go well partially I didn't go to the midnight release just because like Barrette. I'm not gonna be able to play it any like I'm not gonna go pick up Dark Souls 2 and then not be able to like I'm not gonna if I can't record which obviously I can't it's very late at night people want to sleep they don't want to hear my dumb ass dying 5,000 times and you know per hour um so obviously I don't want to go pick it up because what, what's the point? What's the point of staying awake for? What's the point of standing in line all that time? When you know, obviously Titan. I don't know how popular Titanfall is going to be, but I have to assume it's pretty much the biggest next generation shooter. The only other competition is Battlefield 4, and if you follow Battlefield 4 at all, that game is a train wreck. Like I don't even play Battlefield 4. I've never played Battlefield before, and that game is just all I hear are about the bugs, about how the online is constantly crashing. So if you want... Oh my god, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I forgot for a second, I forgot. So basically, if you want a next-gen shooter, Titanfall is your bro. 
And Titanfall also. Titanfall also has the advantage. They have mechs, dude. Like, how do you can't go wrong with mechs? I remember playing the shit out of Mech Warrior on the original Xbox. The Mech Warrior 1 and 2. Fucking awesome. Why? I didn't burst last time and the overdrove killed me. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck you. 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 Oh fuck, I fucked up. See, I just the Every single time I just want to use um six B. But you don't, not in the fail counter combo. You just go straight to you just go straight to JBJC. And you loop that like three times. Three or four times, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, you just loop it three or four times and you're done. Dude, this is not seriously, this is just preparing me for the agony of Dark Souls 2 soon. And Bang is just... Oh my god. Yeah. That was definitely not supposed to be 5B. Fucking really? Alright, so anyway, I forgot to talk about the patch. So, firstly, the most important news regarding the patch, we're dropping Tager. Tager is done. I am done with Tager. Like, out of all of the characters in the cast, that you would think would get nerfed. Please select your character. You would not put Tager on that list. Tager was fine. Like, I mean, Tager, unfortunately, just the way, just his very, the very concept of his character, the very, like, just the mechanics he has right now in the game, he will never be good. Because, regardless of how strong he is, he will still just, you know, characters like Hazuma, Taukaka, Lychee, New, Moo, all those characters can legitimately just run circles around Tay. Obviously, there's more as well, Eric Cooney. They can just run circles around Tager, no problem. But they nerfed him. They nerfed his 5A, 2A into like the worst possible starters they could be, so pretty much all you can get. Uh, aside from maybe slightly extended, you know, like magnetized float, atomic collider float combos, 5A. 5B, 3C, Gadget Finger. That's what you get. That's what you get off of 5A. That's it. That's like 1,200 damage or something. That's terrible. And then they also nerfed his backdash. They increased the active frames of the move. Oh, that did combo? No, I didn't even... Oh my god! Fuck it. The Leon block! Who is blocking? Fuck you, Overdrive! I ain't scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I got ya! Oh, yeah, they nerfed his back. I can't remember the exact numbers now, but I believe. They increased the active frames by six, and they increased the invincibility duration by one. So basically, he, there's now five extra frames on the end of his backdash that allows you to punish him. I can't remember if it's five or if it's six. But anyway, so basically what happens now is that, in my mind, now this isn't like a huge problem, technically just because of the lack of overall fighting game uh, ability that people have in Blaze Blue, like I've kind of mentioned this before, that I feel like 
the majority of the anime community just is very far behind on the more tactical aspects of fighting games. With things like option selects, uh, with things like frame traps, I feel like they're very far behind places like, I mean, uh, games like King of Fighters or Street Fighter. Same thing with Marvel, really. Like, people don't really do use that kind of shit. Now, it's obviously, it's harder to do that kind of shit as well when you have um, push block. But still. Uh, anyway, point being... His Tanger's backdash just got infinitely, infinitely easier to option select that in the corner. Like if you're in the corner, or now, well, actually, that's right. The, the, not only did they, decrease, did they do all that shit, but um, they also what the hell? How did that work? Oh my god, I did it! I'm the best! But they also decrease the distance that he moves. Fuck. So actually, looking at that damage... Sorry, I'll finish my thought in a sec because I'm just you know, I'm pretty sure I'll figure out my fucking count. No! I started the game. No! He's gonna run it back! He's gonna run it back! No! Oh my god, like how much damage is actually gonna do? I'm gonna be close to that, yep. Yeah. Um Oi oi! Warka? Anyway, basically, they, they trashed Taker. They shit on Taker. They fucked over the only thing he had to deal with pressure to a point now where it's basically, it's going to be very easy. Oh, that actually hit. Oh, that did too. Oh. oh my god, he's still airborne. I was not ready for that. Ah! You asshole. Dude's caught me in an infinite. Oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, shit, I got it yet. Oh, fuck me. Hey. Oh, take it. Um. So I'm done with Tega. I'm completely done with Tega. Like, Tega was fun. It was fun doing jump loops with him. It was fun fucking around with him. I'm done. They nerfed it. They nerfed him. There was no reason for that. People are also saying they kind of nerfed Makoto, but I don't know enough about Makoto's mechanics to completely understand the ramifications of the changes she got. So, I mean, it's possible that, you know, it's po I'm gonna assume, basically, that they may, they may not have nerfed her, but they pretty much did not help her either. That's what I'm taking from it, because a lot of the Makoto players are kind of like, what the, f you know, like, what the hell is this shit? But they're not really, like, explaining very well why it nerfed her. So, I don't know, Cresel! Tell me about, the hell that Tell me all about how Makoto got nerfed. I want to understand. Oh, oh, fuck! Fucking over... Not over limit. Uh, unlimited mode health. I'm not... Oh, dear. Fair play. But yeah, I was not, I was not, I should've, I should've accounted for over limit health. Over limit, unlimited. I wasn't prepared for it. Let's talk about the boy Asriel. He might be the best character in the game. It's very possible. Okay, they can the Damn it, I was hoping that would whip, but that was pretty far away. I mean, it should whip. Her fist didn't hit me. But we all know, we know Blaze do hitboxes. That was actually in the most recent, um... Oh, fuck. 
I even blocked that too. I blocked it, but I wasn't fucking prepared for the. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't know how to do that yet. Ow. I tried to armor it, thinking she's gonna dash up and hit a button. I'll armor it, no problem. I was too fast to armor. But yeah, very real possibility that Azra is gonna be the best character in the game, because like he didn't really get any buffs necessarily. Uh, he kind of got indirect buffs by kind of fixing flaws he had that were kind of you know like they shouldn't have existed in the first place. Stuff like, for instance. Okay, I got it. Focus wasn't enough. Stuff like some characters were capable of punishing his growl growler field even on hit. Takaka was the worst defender of the world. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Takaka was the worst defender of this. Uh, she could punish Growler Field even if it was counter hit. Even if you got the benefits of counter hit, she would still be able to punish you. Hazumo was capable of punishing you if you hit him with it. Um, I'm not actually sure of other characters that were capable because I'm like I didn't really test this myself. Those are just characters that I saw punish it. Please A lot of people like really character. aren't didn't like basically treat it as like, oh, I just got hit by this. Clearly I can't punish it. Because I did play a few Taokakas that never punished Growler Field even when they when I hit them with it. When they should have. They should have been punishing me every single time I used Growler Field. Block, hit, doesn't matter. They should have punished me into a 4k combo every single time. So that got fixed. Uh, it blows it blows them away kind of higher now. So they have a higher arc. And they still like recover at the same point in time. Basically. But they no longer recover fast enough to be able to punish. But that's still not really beneficial to... That's not necessarily beneficial to Azrael's offense. But it is, you know, it's just basically a fix for those situations. Hornet got... Actually, Hornet didn't really get buffed. It got... I mean, it's made faster. But it got made six frames faster at the expense of six frames of hit stun. So technically, it still evens out. But again, quality of life. They made it. Oh my god. Oh my god, what am I doing? Quality of life shit. They made it so that, um, basically it reduces the blowback on hit. So like, there is- oh, jeez, uh, So basically, you've seen all those times where I've hit gold, not all those times, I kind of don't use it for this very reason alone. But there are many times when you try to utilize- uh, When you try to utilize Hornet, when basically, if they're even slightly airborne, a lot of the time, <laughs> you don't have to do that. That was terrible. That was even more terrible when I went to this the fucking follow up. They're like a pixel out of range for the for the JCs going up. And so then you basically you miss out on an entire combo. And you miss out on the follow up combo. You miss out on getting on the resetting a week. You, you lose a lot. Very focused. You lose a lot if you if the Hornet whips. So they made it so that now that should no longer happen. I mean, obviously you have to see in practice so whether or not it's not actually happening. Okay. Oh no, that doesn't work! <laughs> I should have just used five C. I thought that worked. Um. Yeah. So they fixed that. What was the other thing they fixed? Oh, uh, they um the blowback on the second hit that hit and in record chain. They made it easier to because obviously that's what hit is. Yeah. They made it easier if your opponent is airborne, son of a bitch. 
Hopefully they remove every single possibility of, you know, like, links and chains and shit. And just wait. Aww. Hard to kill. Uh, Alright, they made it easier to combo from those moves. So now, like, hopefully it won't drop a lot. Like, you see, I see, you drop me, a, I drop that a lot. When it's against an airborne character, like, I barely whiff the last hit. That should be prevented now. Again, same thing as Hornet. It's just, you know, these tiny little things where, like, you need to be aware of, you know, the pixel perfect space for you to be able to hit that or it's gonna whiff. And they're taking that away. What was the other? I know there was something else as well. They did nerf his backdash as well. I was definitely expecting the worst from. Um, <laughs> 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 Yes! There's some uh, they nerfed his backdash. It's two frames slower now, which is basically kinda universal. It's kinda like across the board, like almost every character. That didn't get something like very specific done to theirs, basically had the duration increase. I mean, yeah, the duration increased by two frames. That's, that's kind of like a universal thing so far. So that's all I have real got. I was definitely expecting the worst after Tager. The Tager and Azure will definitely have the best two backdashes in the game. There's no question about that. Did it float all the way to the ground? Nailed it. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, what was the other? I need to go look this up now. Like, I know there was something else. There was the Hornet change. There was the Wrecker change. The slight backdash nerf. No, not Hakuman forums. I don't care about Hakuman. He got nerfed pretty hard though. Less, um, what's it called? He has less, like, significantly nerfed meter gain when while he's in the air, which hurts because his ground movement is booty. Wait, shit. What are you? Oh, no, I don't give a shit about you. I want. Where the hell it go? Oh, here we go. I went to the wrong topic. All right, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Let's see. Oh, negative penalty resistance. Whatever. Oh, that's how did I forget the most important goddamn one? Special cancel. You can now special cancel his D moves. Always. How fucking sexy would that be? Slash terrible. If you were not an asshole. Oh my god. She is doing the fucking instant air dash cross-ups to me, and I, I just, I don't, I don't much care for it. Oh my god, what the hell is that? I I couldn't have extended I bet I could have extended that somewhere. To get that final, to get that last bit of damage. Shit, I tried to do that. Being an actual command grab causes a small amount of anguish. She's kicking my ass here, dude. Why did I? Why did I jump? Didn't even do the unblockable grab on me, but still, why did I jump? Um, 
You can cancel all of his D moves now into special moves. The special so basically, you can, if you get off of like a five D, like five D, a two D. I mean, granted, this is only overdrive, so it's not a huge benefit. Because honestly, I don't, I personally don't feel like as an overdrive is all that useful. ニードを取れが。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。ゴミ。
I'll freely admit I'm moderately oh I tried to counter hit that. Oh, it exploded right before I tried to do growling again. This character's bullshit. That combo? Where's my growler again? Bitch, you better give me a fucking growler. Really? See like that. That shit will no longer happen. How the hell was I supposed to pick that up? Don't burst, you slut! Oh. All right, well that's that. We've seen enough of my failure in this game. Let's go. Let's go get our failure in Dark Souls on. It's now like 10:45. That's plenty of time for everybody to get in. Just waiting in line first, and I'll just be able to walk in, grab my shit, and walk out. Obviously, I have to pay for it too, or will I? Bye.